Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my Planet Explorers tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on us building our first colony. Now, um, in the last episode you'll remember that uh, we spoke to Arturo who gave us all of the components to a colony and he showed us some help. So. The very first step then, once you've spoken to him and he's given you all of that stuff, is of course then to go into your inventory and to find all of the scripts that he's just given you for the base. So you remember the very first thing that you have to build and place down is the assembly core. So we, that's the very first thing you need to do, learn the scripts. So I'm going to learn all the scripts that he gave me they're all different parts of the colony that we can build right okay so that's the first thing now the next thing you need to do once you've learnt all the scripts is to choose a place for your your colony now uh, I want to thank Wayne for the co coordinates that he left in a comment for um, petroleum and coal and I decided that that's where I'm going to build my base. Now this is, that's the rock formation, yeah so it's going to be over here. Now we're over here and I can teleport there and run there but you know what, the most easiest thing to show you, once you've learnt your scripts for your base, you don't have to build the base here. Um, there's not really any advantage to here that I'm aware of so what I thought I'd do is let's load in where I have chose to save a lot of time and a lot of running <clears throat> I thought one of the best places for me to build my base would be next to a fuel source, as in coal, because to power your base needs a power generator, and the fuel that the power generator will use is coal. So I thought I would build it right near some coal. And also there's the petroleum that Wayne mentioned. Also there's a nasty mammoth sized creature roaming around here and it is aggressive you can tell by that red dot and it's probably going to give me some pretty soon but then I've got some little friends that will be waiting for him anyway so here's the coal that's why I decided here's a good place for my base the only problem is of course is it's going to cover a huge area and it pretty much would be beneficial for it all to be flat so I've got lots of digging to do. For now though, what I will do is just get this started and place it here and then I can just sort of start digging off camera. There's that nasty up there. Big, big nasty monster and it's aggressive. So anyway, so the first thing then we have to do, you've learnt your scripts, you've chose your location where you want to make your colony. The next thing is to go into the, oh, why am I doing it the long way? Press the Y key, bring up the replicator, go to the very last one, decoration, and in there will be the components to the base. And remember, the very first one is the assembly core. So we need to make it. In order to make it, we need steel, uh, 30 steel, 25 glass, um, sim five simple plastics and two chipsets which fortunately I've got. So let's make some steel which should be in resources which is this one right okay so we need some steel and we need some glass so Let's find both of them. There's a the steel. Let's make 50 of it. And we need some glass as well. Let's make 50 of that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've got plenty of sand. Okay, so now we'll go back to the assembly core, which we need. There, that's it. There you go. So let's build that. That will go into our <clears throat> inventory. And I'm interested to know whether the assembly core will keep out that thing over there till I can put down my cannons. Okay, and the next thing we need to build is a power plant because this won't work, the assembly core, none of it will work without power, which they did tell, uh, Otaro did tell us about. So let's build an, a power plant. 40 copper wires, you can see I've been a little prepared here for once and actually got the materials together. Right, okay, so if we go into my inventory now. There's the assembly court. Now, this is going to cover a huge area. So, it does say that you can press the F key to fly, but you know what? Uh, whilst build, building, but I couldn't get the gist of that. So, just know that it's going to use a huge area around you. I know I've got to flatten the area out, so what I'll do is just drag and I need to make a little bit more flat. So let's quickly do that. My poor gold shovel is nearly worn out, but it don't matter, I'll make a nine one after. So I need to get a big enough flat area just for it to be put down. Okay, let's do this bit over here. Oh, I thought he was coming to give me a butt then. Oh well. Okay, let's see if this is now I'm sure it's not. For goodness sake, I've spent hours digging. I mean, I don't mind digging. I love digging in this. It's actually fun, the digging and the mining, because uh, you get you can make lots of money through doing it. But I just want to lay out the foundation of this colony so I can show you. Um, I thought I was prepared by flattening out a bit of it, but obviously not enough. Right, let's have a look. Surely that is big enough. Yeah, that is. Of course, I've got to do the power plant next. Yeah, just there. There we go. Now look at the radius of this. It's huge. And trust me when I tell you, that is club fantastic. Because um, I can now place all the rest of the base... Um, parts, so all the rest of the buildings within that big um, circle, big sphere. The thing is though that um, I've got to flatten it all out of course. Um, anyway, let's have a look how big this power plant's going to be. Uh, see if I can find it. There it is. I bet it's going to be huge. 
Okay, I'm going to need to now dig out. Oh no, it's not huge. In fact, it's a nice size. Um, now the thing I don't know, okay, and this is something to take into consideration before you start building your colony, alright? Is if we go to the planet map now, you know, you can teleport to the crater, the rock formation, you can teleport to all of these places on the, the map. Okay, so when my colony is up and running, will I then be able to teleport? Oh, wait, no, I think I can. Yeah, I can. I wasn't sure about whether you can just tell a fast travel to it um, because obviously I'm a little distance from the nearest teleport, but I can, which means I'm right door next door to coal and petroleum, which is very cool. We know that gold is at the alien camp. Martian camp, sorry, up there, that's gold. So yeah, we've got access to quite a few resources. Anyway, so that's that waffling. Right, so I need to now place down the power. I'd like to put the power on the same level as this. So let's quickly just flatten this bit of ground here. I shouldn't need to do too much because it's not that big, the uh, power plant. notice I took my headlamp off I didn't like it because it blinds me I can't see what I'm doing when I'm wearing that oh here we go um, okay try not to panic and um, just place my guns down I don't know why they've started attacking me but I aim to give them a bad gun Of course, once I put my power plant down, they won't be able to come in here, some of them. Um, now, someone mentioned, if I do 4x4 four four stone, where's the stone? There. So, if I go in the field... No, I don't need field. Let's just do this real quick. So... Oh, they're going to be dead by the time I can do this. So I want to choose stun, where's the stun? That's marble, I'm looking for stone and I'm going to be way too slow. Oh yeah, I don't know, let's stick on the sentry guns. Thank you for the donation to my colony. All of it's appreciated, every last part of you. Right, okay, so that's them dealt with. I'm going to leave my guns here down in place now, in case that other one comes for a bit of aggravation. Oh, let's get out of build mode. That was a waste of time, me trying to attempt to do that. I wanted to put down my big guns. Didn't they kill the other one? Anyway, I should really power my base up, because I'm sure they were attacking it. Although I can build it easily enough again this part if it gets damaged. Okay, so let's refill and then get these out my way. Oh I wonder if all the local creatures have got annoyed because I put down my base, because these creatures weren't attacking me before I started laying the oh no, there's another big one. I hope I've got enough bullets in the gun. I don't want to be firing blanks. That wouldn't be good. Right, okay. Where's my gun? My last one. Let's put it up here. Well, I'm getting plenty of meat. But that's not really what I should be doing. Right, let's get these guns filled up and out my way. Because you want to see me build a colony. Not waste your time like I'm doing.
And anyway, then I can place down the bit really big guns. Okay, so let's put it here. Yeah, we can put it there. I'm going to space it a little apart. There we go. We've now got, I believe, a false field. So let's test it, shall we? In true gamester style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something silly and attack this whatever it is over there. Now, can they come in here? That is my little experiment. Yes, they can. <laughs> all right. Well, it did say it didn't keep out all the creatures. Yeah, that's it. You come after me because I've got my little friends over here. Anyway, so this is a shield for something. It's supposed to keep some, some of the creatures out. Which ones, I don't know yet. I will have to just attack all of them. No, don't go knocking down the trees. I'm going to need wood. Anyway, look at all this meat. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, I'll have to do a little test. I don't know what creatures it will keep out. Maybe it's because I haven't placed enough buildings, although I'm sure it was just the assembly and the power that needed to be placed to, for this false field to work, but I don't know. It's all trial and error at the moment. As you see, we've got the makings of a great base. Now, what I really want to do is, around the perimeter, I'm going to place loads of turrets. But I want to flatten it all out first. Anyway, so let's have a look. What other buildings have we got that we can place down? Not that I can yet, because I need to flatten it all out. It's a bit like um, paddy fields or rice fields, isn't it? The way my base is in slopes. It is. I guess it's not such a bad thing. Right, anyway, yeah. So let's have a look. What else can we build? Storage, that was something else. So if we go back to see exactly what he said to us, if we go into the help, so we had assembly one, he said first of all, which was to put down the assembly, which I did, we've done. Next, he said to put the power down, which done. So he's saying start with storage and dwelling buildings. Dwellings we can then have, um, I can then go around the planet gathering the people up, which I'm hoping to demonstrate in the episodes. Anyway, for now, I can't really do no more my colony, because it's just going to mean digging. And I think that would make for a bit boring to watch me just dig. At least that big thing is gone. I wouldn't let them be an attack. Yeah, you see, these creatures weren't hostile before. So the only thing that I can think that's made them hostile is me placing my base. They don't like the fact that I've settled. So anyway, what I'm going to do is flatten out all the land, make the rest of the structures, and then I can show them in the next episode. Um, my quest is updated, by the way. So you remember it, I had the quest build a base. So that is updated. And now I'll need to go back to see what next main the next main quest is. But I'm going to get the rest of the colony built first. And I'll show you it in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.